There's another image we can use is a bit from uh, history, and that is at this time um, when the New Testament scriptures were written, the people of, of Greece worshipped their gods, as did the people of Rome and the Egyptian people. There were different pantheons of gods that they gave different names to. What's very interesting is that the people, though, lived as if the gods did their thing and we kind of do our thing and never the two shall meet unless the gods decide that they want to come down and mess with human beings one way or another. But the god of the Jewish people was different. One god. This god called Yahweh did not have a pantheon. So who was God going to interact with? God's people. For example, in today's reading, with Moses. And so as we read the scripture, it's very touching, is that God is speaking very relationally. God is not domineering. God is not coming from a position of, I shall destroy them totally, and no matter what you say, it's going to change my mind. Rather, we see a glimpse of what Jesus proclaims. That God is relational. Meaning that God can be worked with. That God is forever the same, and yet forever changing, because that's what love is. That God is willing to listen, and to use his word to be changed. Is that not what happens when we truly experience being loved? This is the God that Jesus proclaims. And why he says, you know, I don't trust the testimony of human beings. Rather, I know who I am. I know who the Father is. I'm following exactly what he's given me. So God is not about fate or inevitability or even domineering laws. Rather, God yearns for an authentic relationship with us, communally, individually. What does this mean for us today? What it means is, like the prophets, like Moses, talk to God honestly. Speak from the depth, the core, the essence of who you are. Do not be afraid of any emotion, any idea, any doubt, any negative aspect of your life. But bring it all to God. And that way, your trust, your hope, your faith in God deepens. Because you realize God wants all of you, not just the nice, pretty, well-planned parts of you. God wants all of you. Isn't that what love is? Love embraces all. Love affirms all that is good and lasting. That is God we worship.